quick video on how to change a wheel on a car quickly, safely and efficiently. First thing we're going to do is make sure the handbrake's on nice and tight and we're going to make sure the car's in gear with the engine off because that'll help keep the car nice and secure for us. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to loosen the bolts before we jack the car up. We're just loosening them though, so just one turn is all we need for now. If we try and do it when it's jacked up, the wheel will just turn and we won't be able to loosen them. The next thing we need to do is jack the car up. As you can see on the top of this jack, it's got a raised bit. The raised bit's going to go into a groove underneath the car. Your handbook will show you exactly where it is on your car. Car jacks aren't the most heavy duty, so it's very important that you support the jack and you take your time with it to make sure that it's jacking the car up safely. We're going to jack the car up so the wheel's off the ground by about a centimetre or two, so there's plenty of clearance to get the wheel off. Now the car's jacked up, we need to remove the bolts fully. You should be able to do most of them by hand, but if any of them are stiff, you can use your wrench to get it all the way off. So now we're going to put the wheel back on. The first thing we need to do is put the wheel onto the axle and then line up one of the bolt holes. We'll then put the bolts in just hand tight to start with. Once we put all four of them in hand tight, we can then use the wrench just to make sure they're firm. We're not going to fully tighten them until we've lowered the jack back down so that the car's weight is holding the wheel from turning. Once we're jacking it down, just remember, just like when we jacked it up, we're going to take our time just to make sure it's secure and it doesn't fall over. Now the car's been lowered down, we need to fully tighten the bolts. We're going to do all of them and then we'll do them all again. Because once we've done the last one, the first one might be a bit loose. So we do them all twice just to make sure they're tight. It's also recommended about 10 miles after you've changed your wheel, just to double check they're all still tight. When using your spare tire, do check to see if it's a space saver. If it is, it'll probably have a yellow sticker on it like this picture, or it might say on the tire itself. If it is, make sure you read the instructions and follow them. Normally, you can't go over 50 miles an hour with a space saver on. Thanks for watching our video on how to change a wheel. We've done loads of other videos on things like roundabouts, independent driving manoeuvres. Please check them out, subscribe to our channel and like our videos. The more we get, the more we can make to help you out. Thanks for watching. Bye.